Sure. Ryanair's flight cancellations means it will carry fewer passengers this year than previously expected, while its costs are also up. That's according to the airline's latest quarterly results. Despite all of that, it's maintaining its profit forecast and expects to earn between 1.4 and 1.45 billion euro in its full year. Owen Curry is editor of Travel Extra and he joins me on the line now. Own a fairly optimistic set of results despite all of the problems it's having relating to pilots' rosters. Yeah, the guidance is the key here. Um, once you lose your big investors or they stop believing you, you're in trouble. And it's quite clear that Ryanair have kept the big investors uh, as they've gone through those problems of the last four or five weeks. Uh, this is the third time they've said that the full year profit will be around 1.4 to 1.45 uh, um, billion uh, euro. And uh, the profit is going to be is rising more or less in accordance with passenger numbers, around 11%. And a big surprise for me is that forward bookings, you'd have expected the forward bookings to be heavily impacted by all the negativity of the last four weeks, but they say it's 2% ahead of where they were this time last year. They also give uh, a little caveat, that uh, the usual caveat, that uh, the guidance is based on close-in bookings. They don't get a lot of visibility of what happens in the thin six months of the year. Listeners will know that airlines have a fat six months between March and September, and that's what really they're reporting on. Uh, this year and most of the profit for the year is already made. So what happens in the next six months is of less relevance. So costs are up, passenger numbers set to fall on what they had expected anyway uh, and it's continuing to cut fares. How is it maintaining profits? Well, they they got a, needed a break. They got a big break with fuel. Um, they got uh, their their overall costs are down, but it's completely on the fuel side. They say they would have the uh, other non fuel costs would have come down by two percent if they hadn't run into these problems. Um, the, the compensation bill from from uh, the can, flight cancellations is twenty five bill is twenty five million, and then they are running into forty five million of additional pay costs because. They are working very, very hard to get uh, a situa- get, keep the situation where pilots are paid more than other airlines. What really they ran into was a lot of other airlines in Europe started moving into Boeing. It used to be a sea of Airbuses over the skies of Europe and Ryanair virtually the only Boeing operator. And that's one of the pr- places they ran into pro- problems with pilots. They also gave an indication that there was more problems than they, they did give, say, on September 15th, they give more idea of what was going on uh, when these results came out. Out. And it's quite clear that uh, block release of pilot trainees was a problem. And they also uh, took the eye off the ball uh, in terms of recruiting pilots over the summer. Some of the very strong language mm. Michael O'Leary usually uses for politicians and regulators and air- airports he's using about his own performance in this morning's results. On Curry, editor of Travel Extra, thank you for that.